all. Um, today I'm going to bring you another thrift shop haul. Now this um, bag of goodies my son and I bought in Ulverston um, at the Salvation Army, I believe. Now he did buy some unusual things um, and some, you know, pretty standard things for a, a boy in his 20s. This, however, was... Um, quite amazing I wish I had have seen it but that's okay I can't have everything and it's this lovely old book um, common prayer now this was three dollars it has the lovely oh, I don't know if it's leather bound you can see all the age inside um, complete with a birthday card Best wishes, 1955. So that's that's lovely. Um, that's just a little book of prayers, collects epistles and gospels. I hope I am saying that correctly. Um, and it's it's very nice and aged. Not sure if there's a date stamp in here anywhere. Book of Common Prayers um, and Administration of the Sacraments and Other Rites and Ceremonies of the Church According to the Use of the Church of England. Um, yeah, I don't think it has a date inside. Oh, actually, September 23, 1912. Is written just here in pencil, so it's quite an older book. It has got some damage. I'm not sure why someone has poked holes in it. I'd say they've stabbed it with a knife. Um, but it's quite lovely. I love the age on those pages. Aren't they just beautiful? And it'll make a lovely little shelf sitter either this way or that way with um with some pretty ornaments sitting atop so that was quite nice I think he got a good good deal with that one um <laughs> then we come to you know the things boys buy bought a bunch of sunglasses I don't know if any of these have any value but they were all one dollar each and he left them in the bag and completely forgotten about them I gather so that will keep his eyes safe in summer, which is quite a way away now. We are in mid-autumn here in Tasmania. And he also got himself a nice little baseball cap. Home Day Future. Very, very good order. I can imagine him wearing that with his sunglasses. <laughs> um... Okay, I think I picked these up. It's just a couple of standard um, frames. And I will do something with those. Some nice prints of some sort in there. They were $1.50 each. I've got a little, little bag of apples and, oh. Oh, I'm not sure what is in the bottom there. Raspberries, maybe. But all the shiny stuff's shaking off. You can probably hear that. They were only a dollar, so they look nice in a bowl at the market. Not sure about the red ones. They may go in the bin. Ah, strawberries. Uh, strawberries. But I thought that was good for a one dollar. Um, Bow fruit is quite expensive. Um, on the religious theme, I picked this one up for 50 cents. It's just a nice little religious picture. Quite vintage and cute. That will stay as it is and probably pop that over at my market stall. 
would look very nice with the prayer book. Um, I've already got one of these, so but I just thought I'd grab another one. The same, it's a ceramic frame with the roses. I don't think those are photos of anybody's children. I'd say they're just little pictures that were in it. That was, as I think I said, 50 cents. I won't do anything to that. Um, I have a bit of collection of these beer steins. I gather they're beer steins. All of mine are from Germany, as I think. Oh, doo -doo. Right, this one's made in Japan. So, um, mine are all from Germany. This one does seem to have a bit of age on it. I'm not sure if it would have originally had the top like mine, had the, the metal top. So, being that that isn't a German one, that may go over to my market store. Oh, did I say price? That was $1. I oh, also found these little, oops, upside down, these little bud vases, the oriental prints. I haven't even got a light on in here, but it's still reflecting. They were $1.50 each, and they are stamped on the bottom. Shibata, Japan. And they seem to be in quite good order. I have a lovely huge ginger jar at the market, so I will sit those alongside that, alongside that, sorry. And they will go quite nicely. Um, what else do we have here? I'm assuming my son belongs to these. Little pouches, an elephant, an owl, and some feathers. Ah, for sunglasses. They could be sunglasses pouches. That's a good idea. I'm not sure what he paid for those. Um, we have a couple of items of clothing, which isn't extremely exciting. Oh, handy. Now, when I do my indigo shibori style dyeing, I use round objects to create patterns. And while these aren't extremely exciting to anyone else, these will come in great handy for me. Complete with a jar to keep them in. And they were $1, including the jar. And I'd say they are for. I used to do teddy bear, teddy bear making years ago, and they were the bits that made the joints move. And that's probably what they are for. But I will use them for something else entirely. Mm. And I got this nice little piece of um, pottery. I'm not sure. I gather that may sit on there like that. They were together. And they were two dollars. I can't see any marks, but I thought they were quite pretty. They're not chipped or anything. So quite nice with just a single flower popped in there. I found some of this quite recently at another thrift shop. This one was still brand new in box. It's this Queen Anne. I've been finding quite a lot and it's um, like a pierced detailed tin. Very shiny, very, very shiny. And this one came complete with a little glass bowl. So that's very pretty, very, very pretty. So I was very pleased to get hold of that for two dollars in the box. <clears throat> I 
amazing what you can find when you go looking. I had a bunch of this stored. We only, we only got it recently, but I just hadn't had a chance to go through it. Um, I don't know if this is just a weird thing or not, but I love vintage night dresses. And this one, this one is in my size. I rem I think it's a I think it's a mum thing. I remember my mum always wore the beautiful nightgowns. She always had her hair in curlers, looking glamorous. We didn't think it was glamorous at the time, but I'm sure it was. Now at Salvation Army um, in Alderston, all clothing is one dollar a piece. So I'll grab that, and that will be going into my cupboard. And um, now these these probably aren't everybody's cup of tea, but I go to a lot of festivals. Um, so harvest festivals and things. Um, and I came across these, and I'd say they're quite vintage. The guy at the um at the counter said, "Oh, they're, they're they're very ugly." Um, but they kind of remind me of fruit on a on a loaf of bread, maybe. Um, they were three dollars each, and he said, oh, "Oh, I'll give you them. You can have them." I'm not even going to charge you. <laughs> so they came home. Um, both they're like, hmm, I'm not even sure what they're made from. They look like pottery, but it sounds more like maybe resin. I thought they would be great around harvest time in the autumn and winter. Um, their little cabbages and cauliflowers and grapes and things. So I'm really pleased with them, even though the shop um, shop assistant thought they were disgusting. <laughs> so that's it for that haul. And on that note, oh, look, sorry I'm being silly now. Look, we have some fruit and vegetable horns. <laughs> um, on that note, I will let you go. If you see anything here that you think is um, of value please let me know I'd love to love any information throw a comment down below if you see anything you really like or anything you think is unusual yeah just just comment down below let me know um, I'd be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel um, and like my videos that that lets YouTube know that people are interested in in seeing more from me um, I will have some more thrift hauls coming up very soon i may even film them today um so if you see me in the same clothing i haven't been wearing it for days i'm just going through a few things as i go along today um i cooked a cake for my son's birthday i've done the dishes i've done quite a number of other things so time to go through some things and organize them anyway i will See you again soon and bye for now.